Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the resource Shot Spotter, which allows you to have like a gunshot detection system within your 5M um, server. So, pretty much what this means is if you are in a police car after a shot is fired, it will tell you kind of where it is and the location of it, and then it will also highlight it in a red animated circle on the map, just like that. It has a bunch of config options considering the blip times, the notification times, the cooldown, the blip radius, the blip color, and then the blip blacklist for any weapons um, that won't be detected at all so you can see they added like the fire extinguisher stun gun to that because obviously those don't really need to be detected in terms of gunshots at all so there is no permissions or anything with this pretty much how it works is as long as you're in a police vehicle marked with the police tag you'll get the notification um, obviously some servers may want to modify it um, on the github page in terms of the code itself if you want to change how that works but it is up to you anyway to download this go to the resource page top of the description and you're going to go to the github and click this big green button and press it download as a zip file You'll open this with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open up your files for me I'm using winrar and you can see in here you got the another folder So what you're gonna to want to do is a lot of people get confused at this point There is a folder within a folder here You want the second folder the reason for this is because if you put the first folder You're gonna get it where it won't actually start the resource So you want the second uh, folder and you're gonna drag this into wherever you store my, your resources for me It's my server data resources folder for you it could be your tx admin data folder or it could even be a zap hosting web interface with ftp and then you can go ahead and close out of that and now that you are in your file explorer here you can see if you go in here you got your client.lula file your config.lula if you edit this with notepad or notepad plus plus you can see all the options just like shown on the page before so you can modify this to any of your needs as well and i'm just going to go ahead and right click and rename this folder and copy the name of the folder i'm not going to actually rename it the reason i copy the name is it just a little easier when we go to our server.cfg file where we're actually going to start up our resource here so all that we have to do to start our resource is add ensure or start at the top underneath our previous resources there i just pasted in the folder name and if we go ahead and start our server with our fx server.exe file or ex or our uh, start.bat file or our web inter interface file, whatever you use to start it, as long as you see in the resource started resource the name of the uh, folder that we pasted in, you know, we are good to go. So let's hop in game and check it out. Alright, so we are in game here and you can see if I go ahead and fire weapons into the air and then I go ahead and get inside of my broken up cop car here because I drove it down a cliff in about 20 seconds. We're going to get that alert of where we uh, fired that weapon from, which would be up here and our map is going to have that cool animation effect on it as well. So we should be seeing that any second. So I'll take this time to consider uh, letting you know that you guys could subscribe. And there we go. You got gunshot detected at this location and on your map it does this little cool pulsing effect. So very very cool resource for sure going to be using it on some of my videos in the future so hopefully you stick around for those um 5pd videos are coming soon i would like to thank everybody for hanging out and being patient with all the videos recently i've been doing my best to get them out every other day but um you know school and every work my new full-time job is causing a little bit of a disruption in terms of my uploading schedule so back to normal soon i promise anyway thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video in a few days have a great rest of your week and i just crashed into a wall